So let's talk about why you're running for re-election. Just, just those facts that, that I've, I've started, I've learned more about what this position is. There's great things going on in Bannock County. If you look at the event center and, uh, and we've gotten our contract back on it so that we ha have control of concerts. We also have control of the concessions. So great things are starting to happen there. High school rodeo, there was confusion about it this year. They've just sent us a letter and they've agreed to be there for two more years. So the events and the activities that are up there are exceptional. This year we've gone ahead and given the fair board more uh, opportunities and they're gonna take care of the Downey Fairgrounds, but it's a Bannock County Fair. They're gonna take care of that. <clears throat> we put new bleachers in down there. We tore out the old bleachers, which an engineer said wasn't, they were condemned. We've uh, allowed the, the, them to now take control of employees and everything else to make that facility better. Uh, taxation, we've been working hard. Uh, like I say, last year in BOE, we had 3,000 appeals. This year we had 1,000 appeals. But last year the legislature had to go back into session, when they went back into session, had to designate more funds for Bannock County for the appeals. This year we had five appeals go on from us to the state, which means that the commissioners worked real hard to satisfy those 1,000 complaints that we had or those 1,000 appeals that we had. Uh, so it's a work in progress. Then when it comes down to t property taxes with taxes, our budget, we're going over it line by line. Where before, <clears throat> and, I, and I, I've just heard this, but before the commissioners got a budget and, and they signed it. We're going line by line and, and being accountable to every citizen for the monies that we spend and for the projects that we approve. There's just so many more things going on. This is, a, this is a great county. Our employees, we have wonderful employees. When I first came into office, we was getting complaints and it was at, out of planning and zoning. The building permits, it was taking three months or longer to get a building permit. Now we're passing a building permit within five days generally. We're, we're serving the people of Bannock County. The other thing I promised when I was elected it was that we would open up communication with the cities in the south end that Bannock County didn't stop at the gap. We've been to each of them cities and had a community meeting and then COVID hit. But in the meantime, during COVID, we hold uh, every other week, it was weekly, but every other week, we're holding a telephone uh, conference with all the mayors, with the four members of the legislature and the two members of the Senate are all invited in that meeting. And then after that meeting, we have a conference call with all the surrounding county commissioners. So inform, information is, is being fluid. We're out there a whole lot more than we were. Uh, our understandings and working together. Through doing this, we have the opportunity to, to, for economic growth in Bannock County, which is a big key. We're growing, but we have to be controlled. But the truth of the matter is, in that economic growth, we need to be talking to all the mayors. We went down a month ago and had a luncheon with all the mayors in Aramo, all the all the South End mayors, the five of them, and and it was a great opportunity to go down there and, and say, okay, what do you expect to see in your county, in your from the county, in your cities, and how do we work together, and how do we build this? So we we've, we've created some good teamworks. We we are continuing to build relationships with the INL. We're continuing to build relationships with ISU, and we're continuing to building relationships with with all the cities. So um, you have a unique perspective being a commissioner already. What issues would you want to focus on if you're reelected? And, and I just mentioned yeah. part of it mm -hmm. is the economic growth. Mm -hmm. uh, this county is growing and, and we got to do it in the right way and so that it benefits people and each city needs to be a, a participant. They need to all have a seat at the table to, to make sure that their, their goals meet the county goals. And, and I, I use the analogy that we hate paving a road and then have to dig it up because we have a sewer line that we have to put in. And, and we don't want to do that. We want to look at all the avenues first and we want to de develop these partnerships so that we don't dig the road up 
we go ahead and put everything in the infrastructure first, and then we, we go ahead and pave the road. So that's a big part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little more streamlined rather than stepping over each other's feet, right? Well, we just have great people. Uh, it takes a lot to be an elected person. Uh, sometimes, well, it's half and half. Some people are happy with you, some people are not. And uh, so we just want to get the right information and make the right decisions. And you, we've already kind of touched on community growth. Um, do you want to be any more specific on how you'd like to manage it in the long run? Well, and, and a lot of that is that we're do, just generating a new comp plan, and that should be finalized. Uh, it, it should be in print here in the next month. Uh, along with that, we're looking at all our ordinances. Do they help? Do they hinder? What, do the, what was the purpose of it, and, and is it the purpose of it still vital? Or have we grown, have we changed, is technology different? Do you so, have one in your head that you're thinking of that's... Uh, well, it, it just comes, the five acre rule, the 40 acre rules. Uh, do we really want people to have a five acre parcel that is full of weeds? Or is there a better way to do that? And the 40 acre rule is the same, kind of the same way. How, how do we utilize ground for the best purpose? And, uh, Can you explain those rules? I I'm not familiar with them. Actually, out, outside the in the county, uh, your parcel has to be a five acre parcel to put a house on for a building right on it. And as you get further out in different areas of the county, there's a 40 acre rule, which means you have to have 40 acres of ground to be able to have a building right on that. Well, in, in doing so, we have people that have combined and, and they have their houses all together, but the area outside that isn't taken care of, uh, the, they own, but what do they do with it? So what's the best, let's plan it out better. Let's just see how to, and then the annexation into cities, how do we work that to, so that we work together so that the infrastructure is there to, because I'm all for if we can hook into the sewer, or you know, if, if, if a ground is annexed into the, the city and it's hooked into the sewer. But I have a tough time forcing people outside of uh, a city to pay the funds that it takes to get hooked up to the sewer. We're taking away property rights at that time. So property rights are important. Yes, definitely. All right. I think that answers all of my questions that I have.